Hey everybody, today we are going to talk about how to do a little research to find some in-depth information on a company. So specifically, I'm going to show you a couple of databases that would be really great for this. So from the library website, you're probably used to searching this search box up here, which is great if you're just looking for general articles. But if you're looking for something a little more in-depth, a lot of times I'll go down here to the databases button. And under databases, I'm looking for Business Source Premier. And it's uh, actually Business Source Complete Business Search Interface. These are two different versions of the same database. This one has a few more little bells and whistles that I like to use for business information. So I'm going to click there. And let's say I'm doing a report on the company Sony. Now here we could search for articles, and that's fine but I want to look for a report on Sony. So what I would do right over here on the right, underneath the browse menu there, I'm going to go to company profiles right there. So I went into the database. I'm not going to search here right now. What I'm going to do is right here for what I'm looking for here, company profiles, because I'm not really looking for articles right now. I'm looking for something that's going to sum up a lot of information on this company. So now this, these profiles are great, but they only have profiles for very large companies. So you are not going to find your local independent brewery or coffee shop here. You're only going to find very large companies. So I'm going to look up Sony here. There's Sony Corporation. I want to open this up here. So it gives you an abstract kind of a little summary of it to actually get to the report, you go right here, the Market Line report. So this is the company that publishes these. It's called Market Line. Okay, <clears throat> so here is a 63-page uh, report on Sony, and it has all sorts of great information in it that you wouldn't find from an article because this just sums up all the information. It's not just a specific article. It's basically a book on Sony. So company overview, and this is a clickable table of contents, which is nice. Key facts, business description, history of the company, key employees. This would be good if you have to identify some internal stakeholders in the company that you could address a recommendation to or something. You could find that there. Major products and services. And this right here is great. The SWOT analysis. This is an analysis of the company that identifies their strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. If you want to look at their top competitors, company view. So what I'm going to do first, let me just, and I'm going to jump back and forth to this table of contents, but let me go to their business description. This just gives you a nice summary of everything that Sony is involved in right now. A lot of things. I'm going to go back up to the table of contents. I'm going to go to the key employees. So here are the key employees. This would be really good, again, if an assignment asks you to identify some internal stakeholders that you would address some kind of a recommendation to. We could also go back here to the table of contents, key employee biographies. This would tell you a little bit about these people. Who are these people? Where, where, where else have they worked? So we're learning more here. Let me go back to the table of contents again. And then this is something that's very useful, the SWOT analysis. So the SWOTs are strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So it is just what you would think it would be. It identifies in this little graph here, what are, what are their major strengths? What are their weaknesses? What are the opportunities for this company? And what are the threats? And then if you scroll down a little bit, it will write uh, out, kind of flesh this out a little bit. So instead of just having listing one sentence in it, we'll give you a write-up on what each of these things means. Again, very useful to know if you're going to be putting together some kind of a paper that makes recommendations for this company. Let's go back up here, table of contents, and let's look at top competitors. So these are all top competitors. You might want to look at some of the companies that are considered top competitors for Sony as well. And any one of these that you find here, you will also be able to find a profile of in this system. So you could search and find another profile and compare these two companies side by side. So 
that's that's one great place to look to get company information and um, let's go back up to the top here so let's talk about how to cite this because this is a tricky citation to put together an APA citation so I've put together it's 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 tricky but I have some examples here so you might want to when you're ready to do your citation maybe pause the video here and kind of look at it so market line is the author that's the corporate author of this let's go back to our report and so there's you're not going to find a person's name on this as the author so that's who I would go with is the the company now here is the date here's the publication date right here and you would do that in a citation like this 2020 August 26th period then I would put the title of this this document this report which is simply Sony Corporation and since it stands on its own it's not it's not an, it's not an article in a journal or anything like that it's it's its own entity it stands on its own then you would italicize it then your instructor may not be familiar with what this is so it would be nice I would put this in brackets to give a little a little assistance to say what this is and this is fine company profile period now for the publisher which we generally list here the publisher is the same as the author and the APA manual suggests that if it's the same information don't list it twice so I wouldn't list a publisher here so that's the first database I would look at the next database I would look at for something like this like a business profile I would go again to back of the library website if I click databases here that's already open here I'm going to go to M and I'm going to open a database called Mergent Intellect and this is a another business database that's pretty good for reports like this so I'm going to go here and this is a really picky database so I'm going to type in Sony Corporation and the profile that's coming up is a little different than the other one this is Sony Corporation of America so it will be a little bit different what comes up than the other one which was just Sony in general but this would also be very good for you to look at this is kind of nice kind of similar uh, company details financial details if you click here makes it pretty visual which is nice industry details and these are all reports you can click on for the different areas they do business in executive details and we could open this up here view all the people at the company here are the main people there we could see and this is again Sony Corporation of America so this will look a little different than the other one we were looking at and then family tree if this is going to open up this will show you could go into well this is nice we could go this is this led us to the larger so this was kind of cool this led me to the larger company of Sony so this I actually would go to and use this since I was using the larger the, the ultimate headquarters which is in Japan not America so here is this bigger report so this led me to a nicer report so that's nice if you go to the family tree and notice there's more there's more details on this one than there was on the one for America uh, so similar things here but there's there's the competitors list so it's it's similar to the other one and the nice thing about here all these competitors are clickable if you click on one of these reports you could bring up one of their competitors reports you could look here SEC filings that's a uh, security exchange commission filings you can get some very very specific financial details on the company annual reports some of this you have to be a little careful because some of these are in Japanese and so to cite this report let's look at this I have this together here I actually I made some mistakes on this one we'll 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 correct this so merchant intellect that's the database that puts this together so I'm going to list them as the author now I generally I don't see dates on these these are these are current but they don't I have I have never found a date on these so I'm going to go back here to company details I've looked around on these I don't so whenever we don't find details for a date you put ND for no date and a period there so this 
Sony Corporation of America, I'm going to change that because I actually am going to use Sony Corporation. And I forgot that should be italicized, just like the other one. And I'm also going to put company profile here to describe what this is. Now the publisher of this database, there's a larger publisher involved here, FTSC Russell. And if you look, you can see that Mergent Intellect by FTSC Russell. So I would list them at the end as the publisher. Now notice I didn't list any URL for this. Uh, the, the reason why these URLs, notice CSU Global in that URL, that's not that's a password protected URL that will only work at our school, CSU Global. So the APA manual doesn't want you listing URLs that aren't accessible to everyone. So you just wouldn't list a URL for this. Also here, the same thing. See CSU Global there? That's a specialized customized URL that only people within our school could access. So it's not it if you were to have your article or your paper published somewhere or it would go larger than just at our school this url wouldn't really mean anything so the new rules for apa is we would leave those things out so these are these are what the the citations would look like for that so like i said you might want to pause the video here if you're needing to put together a citation and kind of base your citation off of those formats so those are some great places to get some basic information on a company. Um, another great place to get information that a lot of times people forget about or they don't know is if you go to the company's website. So if I go to Sony and I open up Sony Corporation. So here's Sony. And I, I think this was Sony USA too. just be aware of that. Now, this is all just general information, which can be good. But what I like to do is scroll to the bottom. If you scroll to the bottom of a company's website, you'll find this little information. Almost every large company has this. And it's not that it's hidden. It's just it's more technical information than the average person wants, I guess. Uh, here's press releases on the company. This would be a good place to look at internal press releases they're releasing on their on their company. Also, if we go back here, one thing that's really useful, what I really want to find is investor relations. So let's see here if I go to About Sony. And you'll find it somewhere on all of these large companies' websites. You'll find it somewhere. You have to look around for it. And it's not that it's hidden again. It's just not easy to find. So here's investor relations right here. And this is where you're going to find a wealth of information on this company. And it's similar to some of the things in the Mergent uh, Intellect report that we found. But here's this right here is gold, the corporate report. And if you let's so let's open this up and take a look at it. OK, and this is a huge report here, 66 page report. Let's look right here. These are things, if you're going to be writing a paper that's making recommendations for this company, you would look you would look kind of silly to them if you don't know what they're actually doing right now. So this is great, Sony's purpose and values. And if you're going to be writing a recommendation aimed at a company, you would really, it would really behoove you, or if you're doing a job interview for a company, this is good to look at too, to look at what their mission is, what's their purpose, and to bring these types of statements into your recommendations or your job interview, if you're doing a job interview with them, it tells them that you know who they are and that you, you really want to work there or whatever. You really want to improve this company. Message from the CEO, again, this would help you if you're looking for an internal stakeholder to address in your report. And uh, this right here, there he is. You can compare that to the other information that we had from the other reports to see if it's accurate. This would be more accurate if the report was dated uh, or because CEOs change. Let's go back here again. This would tell you what they're thinking about right now, what's on their minds. Financial highlights, business profiles. There's just a wealth of information here. And who, you know, who would know that that would be on their website? This is good here, corporate governance. Here are other heavy duty employees, chairman of the board of directors. These would be great internal stakeholders for you to know about. There's their board of directors right there. These would all be good people for you to address in a, in a business report that you were going to, to uh, 
uh, try to submit to this company. You should know who they are. Okay, so there's that level. Go to the go to the company's website, and let's just kind of review that again. I'll just show you what I did here. I just Googled Sony. Okay, let me go back to there, the home page. And when you first open up the home page, it's like any large company's home page. This some of this might be interesting to you, but what's really going to be useful in an academic paper? Are these things down here so I went to press releases first then I went to about Sony and I'm looking for the investor relations there's also good things up here too but investor relations was where I found all that really great detailed kind of inside information on that company okay now another thing we could do so we've got that basic information taken care of let's say we are looking for articles now so notice I waited until the end to look for articles. I didn't I didn't start because this kind of a this kind of a this kind of an assignment, I'd like to start with the really basic information on the company. I want to get those business profiles, those investor relations reports first. So I really know what I'm talking about with this company. Then I can just look for some general articles. I would probably use this general search engine for this. This is called a discovery system. It searches all the databases at once. And it's great at finding articles. It's not as good at finding reports and things like that. So I would just click advanced search right here so I can go all the way in here. And I would say Sony and put that in the title. Now it's set to look for peer reviewed journal articles. I would probably turn that off for this because a lot of business reports and business newspapers and magazines that are reporting on this are not really peer reviewed and that's fine. It's the business world is they do certainly do have scholarly journals and peer reviewed journals but a lot of the really up to date information is not going to come from from an academic journal. So I would turn that off. Everything still will be professionally published it just won't be from an academic journal which I think in this case is fine. Let's look up Sony. Sony has to be in the title. We'll do a search here. and 187,036 articles. That's a bit much. First thing I would do is I would take these dates right here. So I scrolled down a little bit and look right over here. Here's a date limiter. I would say let's make this more current, maybe 2017 to 2021. I hit enter, then it updates it to just bring me those more current articles. There's still over 34,000 articles. So maybe I want to look at something very specific with Sony. How about gaming? They're involved. They're certainly a leader in gaming. Let me hit gaming. And now notice I didn't put it in the same box because I have Sony set to title here. I don't necessarily want gaming to be in the title, but I might. But I want to take this one step at a time. So now we're down to 638 articles. And that that's great. I could also do or PlayStation because that's kind of their one of their leading uh, gaming devices that they have. So gaming or PlayStation. I could put as many ors in here as I want if you know of some other things to look at. But I bet if we do PlayStation 638, I would bet we're going to find more articles than that. This can really broaden out your search to use or. Okay, so that more than doubled that search. Now, maybe I do want to have gaming or PlayStation in the title. Now what it's doing is searching for this word or that word. So the, both of those words don't have to be in there. It's doing either one. So if I say that has to be in the title, it's going to go through here. Now we're to 904 articles. So that took about 540 or 550 articles out of there. And maybe we want to narrow this down a little bit further. Uh, let me over here, let's say I'm just looking for magazine articles. If I click magazines right there, it will limit it down to magazine articles. And this may be my, my business report or my recommendation to the company has something to do with gaming. It would be really good to look at articles that that are talking about their, their, their gaming. And uh, maybe here, up here, they're coming back by relevance. Maybe I want to change this to bring me back the newest articles first. And so these are, this, this would be good to read up on this and you could incorporate this into your paper. So there's a quick, there's a quick intro 
for how I would a, a, approach a report like this. This is, it was pretty easy. Just a, just a few things to at least get you started. Uh, the hard work is going to be actually selecting some of these things to read and to really read them and study them and get to know this company. And then I think it would be a lot easier to write, to write your paper on business recommendations for this, this company. So hopefully that will at least get you started. Thanks a lot for watching as always. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.